What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warren, Aviator and a Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And today we're doing yet another fight like a superhero here on this channel. It's been a little bit since we've done an episode in um, this series. And so I wanted to do something relevant. And since the Black, the Black Widow trailer <laughs> was released not too long ago, uh, I wanted to do a breakdown of Black Widow and the MCU up to this point. Obviously, I don't know what's in the new movie because they don't let me see movies early for this. That would be awesome, but it doesn't happen yet. So until then, I'm going to be using all of the past MCU entries. And since she honestly has basically the, the second most entries into the MCU, second to only Iron Man, like... You count it out. It's, I'm pretty sure it's second to only Iron Man. Uh, she has plenty of stuff to go off of. So without further ado, actually with a little further ado, run that intro so we can get started. Is this play meant to insinuate that you're going to throw me off the roof? Because it's really not just style, Rogers. You're right. It's not. It's hers. Now, Black Widow is arguably one of the most well-rounded fighters I've ever covered on this series. Second to maybe Batman, but it depends on which Batman you use. So with that said, that means she covers a variety of skills and variety of techniques uh, and does them very well, I might add. Now, even though she does have a variety of skills, she does tend to lean towards certain things, and I'm going to highlight them in this video. Starting off, she is very quick to use grapples and leverage throws, um, as <laughs> for some reason, the MCU really loves throwing people around in their movies, and so because of that, Black Widow is excellent at doing that. And again, just for all you guys, so all you guys are aware, this is Black Widow of the MCU, not Black Widow of the comics, so there might be some differences here. Now, in tandem with those grapples, she usually uses her legs uh, to kind of activate those grapples, oftentimes leaping onto an opponent and throwing them to the ground, or using your gadgets to weaken them to a state where she has the leverage to be able to throw them to the ground because she doesn't really rely on strength because she's not a big character and she's fighting you know aliens and super soldiers and stuff like that where she doesn't have the strength advantage so she has to use leverage and basically science to beat her opponents which is honestly a really good strategy and it's fairly realistic look i really don't want to hurt you I wouldn't stress about it. Oh! So because she fights all these healers and doesn't really have like, you know, the Asgardian de defense, the Asgardian durability, or like a shield or something like that, she doesn't really have that. And so because of that, she uses her speed and acrobatics to kind of be able to dodge attacks and dodge incoming punches from stronger characters. This allows her to uh, fight stronger characters without actually taking the damage that would come with getting hit by one of those characters like um, Captain America or Winter Soldier. She's able to fight those guys while being physically weaker because she's faster and able to move around punches and evade punches so well. Now using the hit and run slash evasion technique of fighting in conjunction with her acrobatics allows her to whittle down stronger opponents like the Winter Soldier hitting him in weak points or hitting her targets uh, in the joints or pressure points and stuff like that that allows her to whittle down stronger opponents while still being able to be safe and not take the heavy hits that these characters would give out. Basically, it's all designed for her to fight stronger people without relying on strength. It also helps that she has experience in several different kinds of weapons, whether those are guns, knives, staffs, uh, Eskrima sticks, even using cap shield a couple times. She is uh, she has a wide array of weapon options to choose from, and so she she is able to go into any combat situation and make the best with what she's given, or prepare for whatever she needs to do to prepare. Whether that's uh, recovering cap shield and being able to use it on the fly, or going into a staff fight and knowing exactly where she's gonna hit, what points to strike on, and how to move around and still use her agility and use her acrobatics with these weapons in tandem for a very deadly and devastating fight, fighting style. And honestly, she's surprisingly well balanced, especially for a woman in comics and movies and stuff like that. They like to have women rely on kicking almost entirely. Harley Quinn is a good example of someone that relies on kicking almost 
entirely in her animation and in her movies and basically everything. And so uh, seeing a female character have some of the most well-balanced fighting style that I've ever seen a character have in film, um, it's really, you know, nice to see that because that just doesn't happen. She's very good at balancing those hand techniques with her legs and with her throws and with her weapons and with her gadgets. She's very well balanced in all of it, which allows her to be honestly one of the best fighters in the MCU, if not the best. Look. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Now, of course, with all of these videos, we jump to the tutorial portion and gonna teach you a couple combos that you can learn to start fighting like Black Widow. All right, guys, so for our first of three different combos today, we're gonna be doing an like open hand, no weapon combo. All right, so this is gonna be a kick heavy combo just because I came up with it and really liked it, and so we're gonna use it. Uh, what we're gonna start off with is our, with our left leg forward, aiming at our target. We're gonna first start off with our right leg sweeping, coming around low and taking out the bottom leg of our target. So one more time, using that right leg to swing through and sweep. Now you don't wanna sweep and stop because that's not A, how you sweep someone, and B, that's not what the next technique is gonna lead into. So when you swing through, you're going to lift your left knee and do a tornado kick. If you haven't learned a tornado kick, check out the other video where I did how to do a tornado kick. But for those of you that have seen that, you're gonna lift up your knee and you're going to crack across as they drop to their leg. The goal is that when you sweep out their leg, they lower their balance. They don't necessarily fall over, but their balance is, is lower, their head height is lower. And so once their head height is lower, you're able to get this powerful kick straight across their head. All the cars decide to come by once I start recording. That's rough, buddy. So once you sweep their leg, you're going to aim for their head with that round with that tornado kick but on the chance that you're finding someone you know capable of blocking and that they know what they're doing which black widow often does we're going to follow that through with a side kick so once you get your sweep your tornado you're going to swing backwards around for a back spinning side kick straight to their chest straight knocking them down that is your goal so one more time Nice and slow. One, two, three. So for our second combination, we're gonna be using Eskrima sticks, just like she uses in a bunch of the movies. So I figured it's a good thing to get a combo like this. And again, we're sticking to the style, so we're gonna be targeting pressure points and joints. Once we take stands with our right hand, what we're gonna do is use our right hand, our back hand, to strike at their knee. So hitting low, striking at their knee, just like that. So our first strike is gonna be one, then you're, you're, gonna, then you're gonna use the bottom of the handle to jab at your target, keeping them off balance, keeping them on their toes, just keeping them stunned. So it'll be one, two, and then three and four coming across the face. Because again, Black Widow's very efficient. She's an assassin. She fights tons of guys all at once. So she has to put each guy down quickly. So to do that, she's gonna start off by hitting one hit across the knee, stunning with the back of the palm or the back of the stick, then one and two hits across the face because she can't rely on strength. She has to rely on speed hitting her targets and just wearing down. So in case her target is stronger than her, getting those two hits will guarantee a knockout nine times out of ten. So one more time all the way through. One, two, three, four. And for the last technique, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my infinity ring and summon my infinity staff, just like that. <laughs> uh, because, you know, this is the MCU and I have a Thanos Infinity Staff, so gonna do that. So with this staff, we're gonna do a combination that 
again, use our speed and um, abilities to knock down our opponents that are possibly stronger than us. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a strike at the head level of our target to the right side. So once we hit there, we're going to do spin through. Same thing on the other side, hitting, trying to get through our target's defenses, hitting both sides of that head, just like that. So one, two, now from here, you're going to sweep the leg as fast and as powerful as you can, using that whole staff to swing completely through. And then to finish your target off, that's now off balance, drop kicking them on the ground. Slowly, it's gonna look like something like this. One, two, three, four. All the way through, it looks something like this. I guess I could put this away now. Man, I guess this ring does come in handy. Oh, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was super cold outside and it's getting even colder, man. I'm not, not ready for this cold, man. But if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, let me know what you think, you know, comment another character you would like me to, to cover. Or if you want me to, you know, do uh, something else relevant to the MCU, maybe it's a fight scene styled like them or whatever, let me know, let me know down in the comments because I definitely would love to do like a Black Widow style fight scene. That would be really cool. Or maybe recreate some of the MCU fight scenes like the, uh, the Winter Soldier versus Captain America fight on the street. That was, oh, that's my favorite fight scene. I could do a whole video just talking and breaking down that fight scene. Come to think about it, I might. But that is a video for another day. So until then, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. <laughs>